know, being a wildlife biologist at the Max Planck Institute, I get to go to some of the coolest places on Earth, you know, from one pole basically to the next. But where I am right now is the Galapagos. And this is somewhere that I've dreamed of coming since I was a little kid. I always remember reading about blue-footed boobies and frigate birds and really wanted to come here and see them. So I spent the past month living here actually with my research and working on the frigate birds, some of the chicks you'll see behind me. And I want to share just a few of the things that we've seen around this island and some of the unique species that you can find only on the Galapagos. And there's a female frigate bird with her chick. See right there, she's sitting at him. And next to her is quite a large frigate bird chick, I believe. Uh, that's him screaming. Probably about five months old, maybe. He's quite large and has a lot of feathers around. And right there, you'll see swallowtail gulls. And these guys are the only nocturnally active gulls in the world. They sit around during the day and care for their young. And at nighttime, they actually all gather on the beach and go fly out and forage for squid. And they'll come back and feed their babies there. So right now, they're kind of preening and getting ready for the night to happen. They're really beautiful though. Their red eyes are just incredible. They've got these huge black eyes with red all around them and it helps them see really well at nighttime. Let's see, this trail right here goes across Henevesa Island and it's full of really neat species that are nesting right here. Here you can see a booby chick. And again, because there's no predators at all on this island, all the seabirds can nest on the ground. So this guy right here can't fly. So if he was on the mainland or anywhere else in the world, a dog or a cat or a raccoon could get him and eat him. But here, he's completely safe. So you can see he has no fear of me at all. He doesn't know really what I am. He probably wonders that I'm some kind of funny bird that walks fine. But walking around here is actually really difficult. All the ground is just lava and you can see it's really sharp. So if you trip at all or fall, it actually will slice your skin right open just like a razor blade. It's really sharp. So I'm constantly stumbling around the island at nighttime. Oh, there's a beautiful frigate bird chick right here. Again, this guy is probably four months old maybe. And he's waiting for mommy or daddy to bring him some food back. So the frigate bird chick's about this age can't fly on their own, so they depend on their parents to go out and forage and come back. And they actually eat the vomit from the parents, which sounds kind of gross, but that's the way of life. So the mother or father will come back and will regurgitate the fish that she's been eating and digesting, and the frigate bird chick will actually eat that, and that's what helps him get so big. So he looks pretty healthy though. He's not missing many meals. He's doing well. Oh, and behind him you can see a red-footed booby which are one of my favorite species of birds because they look so funny, almost like a clown. They've got this big, long, bright blue nose and these bright red feet. Looks like a children's book or something might have you know, illustrated these birds. And he's nesting right there, but looks like he doesn't have a chick or an egg, so maybe he's just waiting for the right mate. Here's another frigate bird chick. Look how beautiful he is. They look like a big marshmallow puff or something. Oh, here's a night heron too. You hear him growling like a little old man. They go, arr, 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 arr. you can see him right up here. Now they kind of sit in the little bushes during the day, and if you walk by, the bush will start screaming at you, but it's actually just the night heron. And at nighttime, then they walk around and they'll eat anything they can. It's a little fish or maybe a baby chick or something. They're kind of scavengers and opportunists. They walk around really crudely though like this. They bob their head all funny. Oh, there's another one. They're beautiful little birds. Oh, and there's a Nazca booby. This white bird right there. Oh, there he is. They have these beautiful yellow eyes. 
and they're really nice. If you get a close shot of them, they're just beautiful. Cool little birds. And actually, the way that they raise their young, though, is kind of sad. They always lay two eggs, and if both of them hatch, one will usually hatch a few days before the other, and the baby will kill the other baby then. So only one chick will ever survive. So it's called siblicide. It's really sad seeming, but it happens with every one of these guys. So this Nazca booby killed his brother or sister to survive. Oh look, and there's a sleeping redfoot booby. When they sleep, they tuck their head backwards, almost like a, a pretzel. You see, they look like a nautilus shape. Here's a big freaker bird chick too. See, this, his uh, neck is shaking a little bit like that. And that's actually what they do to cool themselves off. They open it up and the wind helps them cool down a little bit. <laughs> this is my friend Patrick. He's a little Nazca booby baby. Or not Nazca, Redfoot booby baby, sorry. Look at him. Just sitting in the mangroves, right on the trail. So every day tourists will walk by here and he doesn't care at all. Maybe this is his mommy or daddy. There's another one. Oh, here's two nasty boobies. Probably a mated pair. They're such beautiful birds. You can see in these mangroves right here are tons of redfoot booby babies. There, 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 there. Probably a nice, safe place for them to nest. But it's amazing how well even the babies can grip the branches. So this guy right here, if you come over, you can see he's not actually in his nest, he's on the branch. And he might sit there all day long just holding on to the branch. Really cool birds. Another night heron. Ah. Oh, this guy's funny. Ah. I walk past him at least three times a day. It's a big booby baby, and he's nesting right on the trail. So literally you have to walk just right by him, and he always kind of acts a little bit excited to see you and says hello in the morning. It's a nice booby too.